Oh, welcome. I'm really excited to share with you what we're doing to accelerate Spark-based analytics on Intel platforms. But first, I need to address one question I get very often. Why does Intel care about software? I get that more often than you can imagine. What's so important as you think about the future of computing, where we're going to have 50 billion connected devices, working, talking to each other, of course, talking to the cloud and growing data center, which is dealing with zettabytes of, of information with the ever-growing need for real-time analysis, that all comes together through software. Software is critical to actually bring the new age of computing forward. So it's no wonder that Intel con continues to contribute to many open projects, of course, like Spark, but also the Open Interconnect Consortium, Open JDK, Open Stack. God, I guess if you put open in front of it, it becomes a consortium. Uh, Python, Java, and many others. Because what we want to make sure is that the experience that you have is optimized to run on Intel platforms across multiple operating systems. So hardware is the medium through which great and amazing software experiences happen. When it comes to doing software, what's also important is that it's, we can't do it alone. In fact, at Intel, we believe that we work better together to bring software capabilities forward. So let's talk about what we're doing together with the Spark community. I'd like to announce the performance portal for Apache Spark. With so many contributions happening across the community, constant up upstreaming to Spark, it's important that the continued evolution of Spark continues to get better and better each week. So what we've committed to is actually providing performance uh, analysis of the latest uh, upstream of Spark to ensure that it's going in the right direction. And in cases like in Work Week 23, where we notice that, whoa, the system slowed down, we can quickly check what changed between the previous week to the current week and then address that. And as you can see in Work Week 24, it actually went back to speeding up. I took a look at the website just moments ago, which is now available. And in work week 25, actually the performance started to slow down again. So we're looking uh, to get your help to help address those issues and get it back on the right track. Also with customers, what we've adopted is making sure that we're working with customers to ensure that what we're doing with Spark actually brings real benefit. So in a couple examples, Youku, which is a leading media sharing uh, site in China, they had a real challenge. They needed to actually provide recommendations very quickly based on what media you were viewing to really keep you spending time on their site. Their site basically is funded through a lot of advertisement. Their challenge was they needed basically five or less millisecond response times to do that, and they weren't able to, weren't able to accomplish that. So we worked with Yuku, and we took a look at their challenges. And the first thing we did was to leverage our new Xeon processors, which provide up to 18 cores and, and uh, 36 threads on them, move them to a Spark infrastructure. And we also took a look at their recommendation engine and noticed that there's the math kernel libraries that it depended on and worked on optimizing that. Overall, we're able to reduce the data processing time by 94%. That's a 17x uh, performance improvement on data processing. Likewise, as a result of that, we're able to go through the computation with only with less than 92% of what it took earlier, and that's a 13x improvement in computation. So now they were able to make recommendations quickly, ensure they had a, a great user experience, and also have an order of magnitude improvement in their prediction accuracy. Uh, similar with Tencent, they had a, a Tencent is a leading um, social media site in China. They had a, a, a very interesting challenge that for their recommendation to get better, it was all driven by the amount of data that they could crunch through. So when we worked with them and looked at what they were doing, the first thing we did was, of course, leverage the Intel hardware and move their solution to Spark. By doing that, we're able to actually increase their data set size that they were able to crunch through by tenfold. This made for a much higher prediction rate and accuracy rate for their recommendation engine. 
all while still adding a 4X improvement to their platform. This was incredible. So now the data center that they already had in place could cover four times the amount of people that it was uh, originally covering while improving the uh, recommendation accuracy dramatically. But it doesn't start there, stop there. We also have to work with application developers. So we were working with JD.com, which is uh, a leading online retail um, in, in China. And one of their challenges was that they write a lot of applications for internal use and provide those, and they needed to provide those and do those very quickly. What the challenge was is that most of the application developers were actually SQL developers. And the challenge was they had to work with the infrastructure team that knew Scala so that you can take advantage of the Spark streaming platform. So when we're talking to them, we said, you know, how can we take advantage of the ecosystem that they had of SQL developers and still give them the ability to take advantage of the Spark streaming platform? So today we're announcing streaming SQL for Apache Spark which bridges together structured queries with the stream processing capabilities of Spark Streaming. So now, with this ability, those of you, how many application developers do we have in the audience? How many uh, program in SQL? Okay, the hands stayed up. As expected, about 48% of developers use SQL. So now we wanted to take advantage of that install base of developers and bring their capability and let them use the semantics that they're already comfortable with and allow them to directly link and take advantage of the Spark streaming capabilities. This allows the infrastructure team to continue to build new capabilities leveraging the Spark streaming uh, technology while letting the SQL developers develop applications net what used to take weeks now takes hours because it dramatically lowers the learning curve to take advantage of this Spark streaming capability. So one, make sure that you join us and continue the evolution of, the, of streaming SQL for Apache Spark. So across the board, we're working to accelerate analytics. Uh, as you know, we're extending uh, what we're doing with, with uh, Spark R. We continue to uh, improve its functionality and optimization. And of course, extend the, the touch and reach that we have for application developers with the introduction of streaming SQL. We want to also make sure that the platform is stabilized, right? Businesses are depending on it. So our performance portal is a way for everyone to understand what's improving, how things are getting better, and if they're not, we can work as a community to quickly address that. And lastly, we're not done with optimizing the solutions for Intel platforms. There's many things that we're still taking advantage of, uh, of our new architectures, making sure that all the cores and threads that are now available with our latest Xeon pr products are actually heavily utilized, as well as working on projects such as Tungsten to continually improve the analytic uh, engine. We believe that it's really only together that we're going to accomplish these goals and, and accelerate the promise of big data, which is identifying the knowledge and business insight as we go through uh, this process. It's Intel with the Spark community, with customers who are really benefiting from the technology, and with the entire ecosystem to make sure that applications are readily available to leverage the Spark technology. So let me take a few seconds to make my lawyer friends happy. <laughs> so important, you have no idea. <laughs> but uh, with that, it's collectively, we know that it's only together with great and amazing software developers that we're going to bring transformative experiences and really experience what's inside. Thank you.